Borderline Personality Disorder. I think this is a condition that needs to be addressed, especially as you move your lives into the internet. And the internet becomes a big part of our lives, whether we're working, playing, have our hobbies, our blogs, things we are interested in. Because we encounter so many people with this disorder and not even realize it because you're expecting something else. So I'll give a rundown of what Borderline Personality Disorder is. It's a condition that is characterized by rapid mood shifts from the individual. They're impulsive, hostile, chaotic. They have chaotic social relationships that you will notice in chat rooms and in some sites where you see an individual quite often. They go from one emotional crisis to another. In the general population, you know, rapid move shifts, hostility are normal in childhood and early adolescence. But as the person becomes an adult, these characteristics do not disappear. They do not change or um, graduate into maturity. It actually persists into their adult life and sometimes becomes worse. You know, they'll be in their 30s, 40s, and 50s and they do not have adequate coping skills. These individuals are often involved in love-hate relationships. They will hate an individual. They will gossip about the individual. They will go through very extremes to make themselves look like victims against the individual. And then later be praising and telling how much they love that individual and how they never meant to say all those things. So what you got to keep in mind is this is all childlike behavior. When children fight, I hate you. And then the next day they love each other again. You know, that's what little children do. But as adults, it is different because there are supposed to be boundaries. You can forgive individuals in your family, your close friends, and things where you have to work things out. But with complete strangers or people you just get to know as friends, especially on the internet, there is something not right about that. You know, once someone crosses that boundary with you or something unforgivable, but then you turn around and let them come back, you know, back and forth. So it's the love-hate relationship. Here are some negative emotions that you can see out of this type of individuals. Their emotions spiral out of control. They have extreme anxiety, sadness, and rage. Extreme reactions to the slight bit of criticism. They react with rage or will turn around and try to humiliate the person. They express emotions in exaggerated ways. Emotions change rapidly and are unpredictable. They have a constant need for stimulation, proudness to boredom, impulsive, promiscuous behavior, flirtation, and irresponsibility. An irresponsibility to anything that they do. Does share a common feature of narcissistic personality disorder is that the core feature is exaggerated of a self-importance, insensitivity towards the feelings of others and the needs of others, and continuously exploiting others. A person with a borderline personality disorder must show at least five of these traits. Frantic efforts to avoid real or imagined abandonment. Pattern of unstable and intense interpersonal relationships characterized by alternating between two extremes of idealization and devaluation. Identity disturbances markedly and persistently unstable self-image of oneself. Impulsive in at least two areas that are potential self-damaging. Recklessness, binge eating, substance abuse, spending, sex. Reoccurrent suicidal behaviors, gestures, or threats. Self-mutilation. Chronic feelings of emptiness. Inappropriate anger or difficulty controlling anger. Now, coping styles of somebody with borderline personality disorder. They feel misunderstood, mistreated, or victimized. They blame their failures or shortcomings on other people or circumstances. They get into power struggles. When upset, they have trouble perceiving both positive and negative qualities in the same person at the same time. Becomes irrational when strong emotions are stirred up. May show a significant decline in customary level of functioning has little psychological insight into their own motives or behavior, is unable to soothe or comfort themselves without the help of others. They tend to blow up their problems to be something very disastrous or unsolvable. They tend to hold grudges and dwell on insults and the slights for long periods. When distressed, they tend to revert to earlier, less mature ways of coping by whining, having tantrums, Relationships tend to be unstable, chaotic, and rapidly changing. It is said that borderline personality disorder is actually like a delayed state of normal personality development. Antisocial personality and narcissistic personality are often clusters 
of the borderline personality disorder. In a narcissistic personality, they lack humility. Instead, they have arrogance. They lack in cooperation and generosity. Instead, have being manipulated or greedy. They lack in kindness. In antisocial, they lack respect. They lack responsibility and they lack honesty. There are some behavioral traits that are also associated with this, such as continuously lying, disassociating themselves with the situation, manipulative, and the only way an individual with this disorder could be helped is through therapy and medication. And the therapy is very important because they have to go back to when they stop developing into adulthood. Because one thing to keep in mind is that the behavior and the thought process is childlike. They are unable to solve problems that are current and are as you grow up into adulthood and react in childish behavior. Keep in mind that there may be individuals, whether on Facebook or chat sites or comments that you get on your blogs or YouTube, that can be from individuals with this type of disorder. And with keeping that in mind, it's best not to let any negative comments, threats, um, childish reactions such as, well, you are ugly and I am prettier than you. I I am better than you and I have more things than you. You have to remember you're, it's like you're speaking to a child. Okay, so don't even entertain them. Do not respond. Do not get into the little back and forth reactions or comments. Because what you got to keep in mind, especially if you're dealing with somebody in their 40s, 50s, and 60s reacting this way that you're dealing with the child. The best way to keep the experience of your internet life peaceful is to educate yourself on the different types of personality because you are dealing with the public. Someone who works in customer service learns this early, but if you've never worked in customer service before and you are exposed suddenly to the public, and kind of in shock and not knowing what's happening and maybe there is something wrong with you just keep in mind no it's best to educate yourself read up on it and just learn about the different personality traits because chances are you are dealing with these type of people on a daily basis if your life is entwined with the internet thank you for listening